What's up everyone? Welcome back to World Renowned Turbo Tractor for another fantastic Disney Cars diecast video. And today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new 2022 two-pack from Mattel, which comes with Ramon and Flo. Ramon and Flo have had quite a few releases together as two-packs, however, these Thailand versions of them have only been released back in 2019 and this year so far. I'm definitely glad to see them back. For the artwork here, we can see cool digital art for Purple Ramon, his most famous paint job that he appeared with as well as flow right here you can see that they are from disney pixar cars very accurately labeled also here we have this red willie's butte design in the background here which i very much am liking they also have a tread stripe through here which has their names also as you can see they are in fact real die cast metal and they are made by mattel on the back you can see some of the other two packs you can get which includes race official tom and mcqueen floyd mulvihill and crusty Rotor, Dynaco Mia and Tia, Doc Hudson and Cruise and Lightning McQueen, and Sheriff and Sarge. I have already reviewed this two pack and this two pack, so you can check that out if you would like. But now let's get these classic Radiator Springs townies out of the package for a closer look. I'm getting better at not damaging this new packaging. And here both of them are out of the package looking very fresh. Ramon here is this very neat looking purple Chevy Impala with his own customized flame job. You can see he has a pretty happy expression with blue eyes. His purple paint job is very glossy which I really like about him. On the hood here you can see some dark purple flames reaching up here as well as some silver highlights here and up here around the front windshield. He has also got these stylish grill parts here which do look a bit like a mustache and you can see his smile painted white there he also has these cool gold rims on these fancy low and slow tires which are slightly tucked underneath his fenders on both the front and back and he's got these orange and purple and blue flames which are very detailed and iconic to him of course that extend all the way back now on the back here he's got this custom back end with some nice silver trim for those tail lights as well as a low and slow license plate right there looking very fancy he has also got some intricate detailing with some blue paint on the back here as well. I'm glad to say this new Ramon here is going to be replacing my China variant of Purple Ramon, which is very beat up. But comparing these two, you can see that they changed the expression for Purple Ramon quite a bit over the China one here. I have to say I like the personality and flair of the new one the best. They also have added some silver trim on the new one, which is more accurate but not present on the other one. And the shade of purple is a bit different. The last time Ramon was released in a single was last year in the Welcome to Radiator Springs line when he came with an oil jug. And you can see these ones are quite different because the paint job is more matte on this one, whereas it's really glossy on this one here. Also, the shade of purple is darker, and you can see that the expression is way different as well. So very drastic differences. I'm definitely going to say I prefer this one here, though. I easily would say that this Thailand variant of Purple Ramon is the best version of Purple Ramon you could possibly get at this point. Point. Interestingly enough, you can see that he also has the same facial expression as the 2020 release of Old School Ramon. Taking a closer look at Flo here, we can see she's a 50s car similar to Ramon. Very stylish looking. She has this interesting minty green color going on, which is signature to her, of course. You can see she has a happy expression with some yellowish green eyes. You can see she has silver lips as well as these silver headlights right here and a very unique looking hood. She's got white wall tires the fenders toward the back cover up the back wheels here she's got silver rims there and you can also see that there's this yellow portion right here on the paint job which has silver trim there's silver trim that carries all the way back these wing type headlight designs on the back end here that look very fancy indeed with these red tail lights as well as some plastic chrome color right here and her license plate reads showgirl on the back you can see this is the spot on the trunk where the spare tire Tire would be kept and you can see very basic compared to Ramon but still pretty stylish I would say one weird thing I would say is that the roof here is a different shade of minty green than the rest of her body you can probably see that right there I thought that was a bit strange compared to her older variant here you can see she appears to use the same mold however she has a much different expression as this is the China version right here now you can see that her eyes are much smaller looking and in my opinion look more robotic so I have to say I do prefer the expression 
on the older China version here opposed to the new one. Her shade of green is also a little bit different and the new one is missing some paint applications on the rear window here that were present on the old version. Also the yellow side detailing here on the old China version of Flow is much more bold looking in color than this version which looks very watered down. So I'm definitely going to have to say that the old version of Flow is better than this new version here. I'm glad to finally have this pack for the updated version of Purple Ramon and Flow, though I think that only Purple Ramon is really better than his initial release, whereas the new version of Flow is okay, but not quite as good as the China version. Anyways, that's it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope if you're looking for this pack, you can find it soon as I found it at Target about a week ago. See you guys later, take care, and over and out. Also, be sure to hit the tractor to subscribe and hit the video down below to watch the last episode of The Hunt.